Um, a week left for the transfer window. You've got Stephen Ireland in on a permanent. You've got Guidetti in on, on a loan. Is it fair to say you've been a bit frustrated that that's all you've got by this stage? Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think um, there was a point, certainly early in the window, where we thought there was a possibility of um, doing our business quite early, but uh, that hasn't panned out, if we're perfectly honest, and um, we've missed out on a number. Um, probably been misled somewhat on others as well, so uh, that happens uh, sometimes uh, when you... What do you mean by misled? In terms of the information we get, in terms of uh, the plans for certain players or whatever, so that happens. You know, it's, it's happened to me before as well, but, but it can be frustrating when uh, when it falls down because uh, things haven't progressed uh, the way people said they were likely to. So uh, you have to shrug your shoulders and, and move on. It's it's about making sure that uh, at the end of the window, which obviously we're, we're not there yet, it's it's important that if if we do win the market, market then. Uh, we're stronger at the end of the window than, than we were at the beginning and that's that's obviously our focus if we can do that then uh, it would be a good window. Was Nikita Jelovic one of those that you thought you might have a... No it wasn't, that was a mis misreporting. Okay, um, the other names I've got to throw at you are, are, are Lee Catamol at Sunderland, is, is there any truth of your interest in him? I'll give my stock answer, it's, there's a lot of names banded around until they're actually walking through the door with a Stoke City shirt on it's I'm not a liberty to discuss individuals. We're looking to strengthen and, and if good players become available, we will be in the market if they were within our means. But uh, um, I think given the fact that Sunderland had a fantastic result the other night, which I was there at the game and they played exceptionally well and, and the player you mentioned played really well for them as well on the night. So uh, I think it's highly unlikely that one will happen. I understand you don't want to talk about specific names. Can we talk positions? You, you, you've made it pretty clear you're after a striker. Do we read that you're after a, a central midfield player as well, maybe? No, we, we're just looking to strengthen. Like I said, if we can be stronger at the end of the winter, then um, that's what we'll try and be. Um, there's areas of the team that um, we look at. So, um, some areas that need addressing more than others, but um, if something presents itself and it makes sense in terms of obviously the, the quality of the player and the needs of the team and the squad, then uh, we look at every every possibility. So the things pop up in, in windows that maybe come from left field and you haven't considered and then all of a sudden they present themselves and they make complete sense, so then you, you pursue them. But uh, um, I won't just say every egg is in a centre forward basket, we, we're still obviously actively looking to, to strengthen the, the team if we can, but uh, it's, it's fair to say that we've made it quite public knowledge that we've tried to add to the, the attacking threat. Down. Which is why it surprised me a little bit that there were reports suggesting you may let Peter Crouch go to Queen's Park Rangers if the money was right. Is that is that ridiculous? Would you, are you Is he not for sale as far as you're concerned or, or is it an option if the, if the price is right? No, it's not an option. Thank you for that. Um, you've got a decision, I think, to make a goalkeeper this weekend, haven't you? Is, is Asmir back and available? Uh, Asmir is an option. Uh, I'll make a decision tomorrow on that. Um, it's important that uh, we feel that he's okay. We're not going to compromise him. He's, uh, he's quite positive. So, uh, like I said, uh, I've got, I'm got very fortunate here at Stoke that I've got three exceptionally uh, talented keepers um, on the varying stages of their career so it's uh, in regard we've just been talking about strengthening areas of the team certainly the goalkeeping area isn't what we're looking at so uh, we're, we're very fortunate in that regard but um, uh, mm -hmm. it's something I'm going to mull over um, and I'll speak to the guys tomorrow if I feel I need to explain things but um, certainly ask me um, as we stand at the moment is, is is up for selection as long as he hasn't had a reaction today. It's been a very special competition for you personally, this one, hasn't it? And, uh, and all right, going to your old team, Chelsea, is going to be a very difficult tie, but will you put the strongest team out you can because you respect the tournament that much? I've said before that I will always try and do that uh, because the competition itself was, was great to me as a, as a player and, and as a manager. I got to a couple of semi finals, so I understand the 
the standing of the competition and I like to respect it if I can and I think I've done that since I've become a manager. Um, we've got a big game on Wednesday as well, uh, big games from now to the end of the year to be perfectly honest, so uh, um, we struggle, have time to recover after after the Chelsea game, so if I'm that way inclined in terms of selection, if I want to go strong I can do, but uh, I love the players that probably need games as well, so uh, we'll try and get the balance right. Chelsea, I think we'll probably be thinking the same, but your old team, what do you make of the squad available to Mourinho now? Is it a squad capable of winning that Premier League title? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, I think if you look at their attacking threat and on their current run of form, they're on a great run at the moment, um, and they have the capacity to be able to continue that to right to the end of the season. Um, they have that capability, so um, it's not an easy fixture, um, not an easy tie by any stretch of the imagination for us but um, we're going there uh, 12 ago I think it's, uh, it's an opportunity for us just to uh, really go there and try and obviously set a marker down and, and say well, listen, we're here we're, we're here to try and win the game and uh, see where that takes us obviously they, they've got an embarrassment of Richards in many positions almost every position is is, is occupied by the top player and, and the backup isn't too bad either, so uh, they're a strong, strong group. But um, on the day and the cup, anything can happen. Thank you, mate. Stanford Bridge is clearly a tough place to go on any day, but under Mourinho, it's proved impossible. Can you use the fact that you beat them at home earlier in the season? Well, yeah. I mean, we take confidence from the fact that we, we've already beaten them this year, um, albeit it's, it wasn't at Stanford Bridge and. Historically, Stamford Bridge and the Mourinho is a very difficult place to, to get a positive result. But um, the fact that we've beaten them, I think, will obviously uh, help us and possibly prey on their mind somewhat. So uh, we've got to use that to our advantage. I think uh, there won't be any apprehension in terms of what we're going to try and do. Um, it's whether or not on the day we, we execute what we're trying to do and, and do it well. If we do it well, then uh, on our day we're we're difficult for anybody to beat, uh, as we proved, and as Chelsea know. So we'll, we'll see, see how we do. Rob mentioned that Azmir is on his way back. Is anyone else on their way back that missed out last week? Um, no, no. Uh, Robert Hughes is still unavailable. Um, uh, John Gadetti, um, unfortunately, was a little bit ill today, so uh, we'll have to check him tomorrow and make sure he's he's okay. Andy Wilkinson is, is still unavailable. Um, I think, unless you remind me, I think that's it. Kenwin was left out last week for other reasons. Does he come back into the wrestling this week? Well, uh, in terms of numbers, uh, we're, we're a little bit down this week. So uh, he comes into our thinking. He's a uh, contracted player, so he's a bit. Okay, and just finally for me, um, Asmir Touch Wood is on his way back. Jack Buckland is among the, the young players hoping to go to um, Brazil with England. Mm. If he stays here, he may be sitting on the bench. Will he potentially be going out to another club on loan to give him? We, we haven't made that decision yet. Um, I think, in terms of Jack, uh, I think he's done really well since he's come into the side. And that, that was the thinking behind, obviously, giving him a, an, an opportunity to, to play. I mean, as me as Injury was unfortunate and um, and it was a difficult time, but Jack stepped in and uh, I thought he's been excellent. So in terms of my thinking and my mindset in terms of the position of the goalkeepers, I'm, I'm very very confident in, in Jack and I know that he can perform at Premier League level. And that, that was the, really the gist of the exercise from my point of view, is that I needed to know that I could trust Jack and, um, and give him his performances and I certainly can. Mark, um, Matthew Epperson was another one who missed out last Matty, week. Matthew, yeah, yeah, no, Matthew's still, um, he's pulled his, uh, his calf, unfortunately, so he's not a bit... Yeah. I think that's okay. all the names covered. Yeah. yeah. Mark, how's, just one on Kenwin, how's he been this week? Has he reacted, how you want him to react after last week? Who's that, sorry? Kenwin. Yeah, he's just come in and he's trained correctly and that's, that's what I would expect from Kenwin. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a situation we've been through and... Uh, there's been discussions about it. Um, we, we both both parties know where they stand at the moment. So uh, he's, um, he's he's fit at the moment. He's training, so 
he's a he's available. You touched on John there having a bit of illness today. It's a shame, really, because is he prior to that? Will he been ready to to start? Well, he's it, certainly uh, one of the players I was hoping to to give a little bit of game, game time to. Uh, we'll see how he is. He, he may be okay. It might be just a 24-hour thing. Uh, let's let's hope it is because it's uh, it would be a good opportunity to see what he can <coughs> produce for us. Cheers. Okay. Okay.